Hi everybody, I'm Rachel and this is Reese. Hi guys. We live here in Australia in a town called Wollongong and Wollongong is in the state of New South Wales and you guys have sent us some questions about what life is like in Australia. So just to let you guys know, um, I'm from Waynesburg, which is right in Ohio where you guys live and Reese here grew up right here in Australia. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys sent us this awesome list of questions and we're going to go ahead and answer them for you. So Reese, why don't you go ahead and yep. answer the first one. So the first question you guys asked was, do we live by any bridges? So we have a couple of little bridges that are in Wollongong in the town that we're in. But the main bridge that Australia has is called the Sydney Harbour Bridge. And we live about probably an hour, hour and a half away from there. And that's the main bridge that Australia has. So, I mean, you guys could probably look it up online. It's a really cool structure. Yeah, it's actually the largest steel arch bridge in the whole world. And if you listen really closely to Reese, he talks a lot different than we do. He has a really cool accent. Yeah. So the next question you asked us is if we have any pets. And people in Australia do have pets, and they have dogs and cats and horses, just like we would have in the United States. But Reese and I actually don't have any pets, just because we live in an apartment and we're not allowed to have pets here. Hmm. But one day we might. Yeah. <laughs> when we move to a different apartment or a different house. Mm -hmm. So the third question you guys asked was, are there any kangaroos where we live? So... Not particularly in Wollongong because it's more of a city and kangaroos, as you probably you might know, they like to hang out sort of where there's lots of trees and, and not many buildings and not, not a lot of noise. So there's not many kangaroos in Wollongong, but if you travel maybe even half an hour, you'll probably see kangaroos up and about. Yeah, they like to live in the forest where it's really quiet and people can't scare them there. Yeah. Um, another really great question you guys sent us was, are there swimming pools in Australia? And that's a very good question because it gets very, very hot here. And so there has to be swimming pools because people would just get too hot if we didn't have a place to swim. Mm -hmm. So yes, people have swimming pools sometimes at their houses or you can go to the public swimming pool. And yeah, people love to swim here. It's one of... Um, Australia's favorite hobbies. Mm -hmm. So you guys also asked, are there cars? Yep, we have cars just like you guys have in the United States of America. Um, when I was in, because I've, I've been to America before, and I found that your cars are a lot bigger than ours. Like, we don't really have as many trucks and things, but we still have, like, similar sort of sedans and um, I own a Subaru, so I know you guys have those sort of cars, and yeah. Yeah. Another cool thing about the cars here is the they drive on the other side of the road. Yeah, we drive on the left-hand side. Mm -hmm. And the steering wheel is on the other side of the car as well. Mm -hmm. So they have cars here, they're just a little bit different. Yeah. The next uh, really great question you guys asked us is do they have toys and Xboxes here in Australia? And the answer to that is yes. There are lots of kids here in Australia and they play with pretty much all the same toys that you guys have. So what's really cool is when Reese and I have talked about what our childhoods was like, were like, since I was a little girl in America and he was a little boy in Australia, we learned that we actually played with a lot of the same toys and had a lot of the same games. So it was really cool to learn that even though we grew up so far away from each other, that we weren't really all that different. Mm -hmm. um, next question, what, what do they eat in Australia? Um, I suppose it depends on the person, but I think we eat similar foods to what people do in the United States. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have as many of the fast food restaurants that you guys have. I mean, we have McDonald's and KFC and Subway. and Subway, but we don't have things like Taco Bell or Chipotle, which I liked when I was in <laughs> in America. Um, 
Vegemite. Oh yeah, we about have Vegemite. Yep, I don't know if you guys have heard about Vegemite, but it's a um, a spread that you usually have in the morning on your toast, and it's very salty. It tastes a little bit like soy sauce, I guess. Yeah, it's just very salty, um, and that's a typical spread that you'll have on your toast in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. So another really great question you guys sent, and this is the last question you guys sent us, was are there whales in Australia? And yes, the answer is yes to that one as well. Mm -hmm. um, and the whales actually swim, uh, is it north to south or south yeah. to north? So they swim from the north part of Australia all the way down to the south. So they have um, a migration pattern where they swim all the way up north and sometimes um, here in Wollongong, we can uh, see them as they swim by yeah. our town. So that's really cool. Yeah, because Wollongong is right near the beach. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's really nice to live right by the beach. And mm -hmm. Wollongong is very nice because it's a word um, that means the city between the mountains and the ocean. So in our town, we have the beautiful beach, and then we've got a beautiful mountain range mm -hmm. as well. So yeah. we're really lucky. Mm -hmm. So yeah, thanks for your questions guys, we enjoyed answering them, and yeah, I hope you guys have a nice time at school. Yep, thanks guys. Bye. Bye.